So general anesthesia is a, is a state uh, that's produced millions and millions of times in the world, and yet we still don't have a clue how it works or what the targets underlying the state of anesthesia really are. A few years ago, we developed a, an assay to allow us to search for new general anesthetics because the side effects of the current ones are still very concerning. Uh, we've taken this assay, uh, screened a half a million compounds at the, uh, at the uh, National Chemical Genomics Center in Washington, D.C., and then using the hits from those screens, we have uh, uh, employed a tadpole, a xenopus tadpole assay to determine sensitivity, and from those, we will determine the best set of compounds to take to a, a mammal model. To test the sensitivity of these tadpoles to the compounds, the novel compounds, to try to determine which ones would make a good anesthetic, we put them in these petri dishes, 10 per dish, and we set up an assay, a high throughput assay, where we incubate the tadpoles in the compound, watch them become anesthetized or not if the, if the drug is no good, and then after a certain period of time, we change their pond water, watch them recover, and make sure there's no toxicity associated with the drug. As they're becoming anesthetized, we can check on it in several different ways. We can see if they stop swimming. We can also tap on the Petri dish as they're going out, and see if they lose their elicited startle reflex. We have also uh, used target discovery methods where we take some of these general anesthetics, we convert them to a photoactivatable form uh, in the laboratory here uh, at uh, uh, Professor Daly in the Department of Chemistry. And we use those photoactivatable compounds to covalently bind them to their targets and then search to find out what those targets are, where the sites are in those targets, and allow us to use other uh, uh, drug design uh, methodologies uh, to produce uh, our new general anesthetics in the hope we will have new agents in the future that will allow us to produce the state of general anesthesia more safely uh, and more selectively. I'm Rod Eckenhoff, a professor of anesthesiology in the Department of Anesthesiology and Critical Care in the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania.